Hi all, this time I'm coming with a YAML file for making a secure private Docker registry. If you follow this video then at the end of this course you will get a secured private Docker registry with a web UI. Prerequisites of this course is, you have to install Docker and Docker Compose in your server, and you have to keep your domain SSL in the same folder. For demo purposes, here I'm using hub.kubernetesway.in, so in your case, you have to use your own SSL here. Don't worry, I will show you how to get this YAML file from GitHub. First go to github.com and search for Kubernetesway. OK click on one user. Click on Kubernetes Way, and choose DevOps Repository, here you can find a Docker Compose file. You don't worry, I will share this link on description. OK let's explore the file. Here you can see two images, one for registry and other for web UI. Registry is the official image from Docker for making Docker registry, and that will run in 443 secure port. And we will pass SSL certificates and port as environmental variables. Also we are mounting in volume in this directory, where Docker Compose file is exist, this is for keeping the Docker images layers outside the Docker registry container. And SSLs also we are mounting. Next container is for UI. We are using Docker registry frontend version 2 from Conrad Klein. Thanks to Conrad Klein for making a beautiful web UI for registry. That container will work in port 8433, because both container we can't run on port 443. That container also have some environment variables, and we also mounting the SSL on this container. So let's copy that files to our server. OK, I just moved Docker Compose file, as well as SSL certificates to our server. Insert folder, and copy domain SSL certificate and the key. You can see the same Compose file I copied to the server. OK, without further ado, let's run this Compose file. Open the terminal and just run docker compose up minus d command. Yes we can see, docker is pulling both images. It may take some time, here I'm fast forwarding this video. Yes, containers are up and running. Here we can see both pulled images. Now let's check the running containers. Yes, both containers are up and running. OK, let's check on browser. Here I added one host entry for resolving my domain locally, in your case you have to either pass a host entry for local resolve or put a DNS entry in your DNS registry. Website is up in 8443 port. Now we can see there is no images, so let's try to push an image from our local machine. Here I'm going to pull a Nginx image from Docker Hub, and I will tag that image for our registry, then I will push that to our private registry. Nginx image has been pulled. Let's tag that as hub.kubernetesway.in slash nginx version 1.
Okay, now we have two images. Let's try to push Nginx to our registry. Here we can use push command for the same. Okay, image has been pushed. Let's check in the website. We can see Nginx here. If you want to pull this image then we can use this command. Let's try it. I will remove the existing images first. Okay, now we have no images, let's try to pull the image from our private registry. Yes, image is pulling. Let's check. Yes, our image is present in our machine. Okay, let's back to the server. Let's check what are the things are present in volume directory. This is our Nginx images, that image is persisted in our server, if the docker crashed or removed, you don't worry, since it is mounted from container to local disk, we can get this data in our new container also. So this is the end of this video, see you in another video until then, goodbye. Thank you for watching this video, if you felt this video is useful then please do like and subscribe.